the seventh planet from the Sun with the third largest diameter in our solar system, the first planet found with the aid of a telescope. Uranus was discovered in 1781 by astronomer William Herschel, although he originally thought it was either a comet or a star. Uranus has the third largest planetary radius and fourth largest planetary mass in the solar system. Uranus is similar in makeup to Neptune, and both have bulk chemical compositions which differed from that of the larger gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. For this reason, Scientists frequently classify Uranus and Neptune as ice giants to differentiate them from the other gas giants. Uranus' atmosphere is very similar to Jupiter's and Saturn's in its primary composition of hydrogen and helium, but it contains more ices such as water, ammonia, and methane, together with traces of other hydrocarbons. It has the coldest planetary atmosphere in the solar system, with a minimum temperature of 49 kelvins or minus 224 Celsius and has a complex, layered cloud structure with water thought to make up the lowest clouds and methane that make the uppermost layer of clouds. Uranus is also one of just two planets that rotate in the opposite direction than most of the planets, from east to west. The other one is Venus. The interior of Uranus is principally composed of ices and rock like another giant planets. Uranus has a ring system, a magnetosphere, and numerous moons. Let's take a deep look into Uranus characteristics. First, let's take a look at diameter. The diameter of Uranus is 50,724 kilometers across. For comparison, this is about four times bigger than Earth. Now, let's look at volume. The total volume of Uranus is 6.83 into 10 raised to 13 cubic kilometers. Again, for comparison, you could fit 63 Earths inside Uranus, and still have room to spare. Next, mass. The mass of Uranus is 8.68 into 10 raised to 25 kilograms. This is about 14.5 times more massive than Earth. This sounds like a lot. But this makes Uranus the smallest of the outer planets, smaller even than Neptune. How about surface area? The surface area of Uranus is 8.1 into 10 raised to 9 kilometers square. This would let you flatten out almost 16 Earths to cover the surface area of Uranus. The density of Uranus is 1.27 grams per centimeter cube which makes it the second least dense planet, after Saturn. This value indicates that it is made primarily of various ices such as water, ammonia, and methane. There are 82 known moons around Uranus and they hold the distinction of being named for characters from the works of Alexander Pope and William Shakespeare. All of the inner moons of Uranus seem to be around 50% water and 50% rock, however, scientists are unsure of the composition of the outer moons. The biggest moon of Uranus is Titania. It is the eighth largest moon in the solar system. Uranus gets its blue-green color from methane gas in the atmosphere. Sunlight passes through the atmosphere and is reflected back out by Uranus cloud tops. Methane gas absorbs the red portion of the light, resulting in a blue-green color. Uranus rotates on its axis once every 17 hours and 14 minutes. Uranus also have a ring system. They start at about a distance of 38,000 kilometers from the center, and then extend out to about 98,000 kilometers. Unlike the rings of Saturn, which are very bright and composed of water ice, the rings of Uranus are relatively dark. From an average distance of 2.9 billion kilometers, Uranus is 19.8 astronomical units away from the Sun. The consequence of such an enormous distance is that it takes sunlight around 2 hours and 40 minutes to reach Uranus. That is almost 20 times as long as it takes sunlight to reach the Earth. The intensity of light on Uranus is about 1 by 400 of that on Earth. This huge distance also means that a year on Uranus lasts almost 84 Earth year. If you were to take a walk around the equator of Uranus a trip might be challenging since the planet has no solid surface. As an ice giant, Uranus doesn't have a true surface. The planet is mostly swirling fluids. While a spacecraft would have nowhere to land on Uranus, it wouldn't be able to fly through its atmosphere unscathed either. 
The extreme pressures and temperatures would destroy a metal spacecraft as it goes down. Perhaps the most interesting thing about Uranus is how odd its rotation is compared to all of the other planets. The axis of rotation for every planet other than Uranus is roughly perpendicular with their orbital plane. However, Uranus' axis is tilted almost 98 degree, which effectively means that Uranus rotates on its side. The result of this is that Uranus' north pole points at the Sun for half of its year, while the south pole points at the Sun the other half of its year. During parts of its orbit one or other of the poles directly face the Sun which means the planet gets around 42 years of direct sunlight followed by 42 years of darkness. The Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft to have flown by Uranus. This happened in 1986 and it flew past the planet at a distance of around 81,500 kilometers. This mission returned the very first close-up images of the planet, its ring system and its orbiting moons.